So I think it's important to get this message out of what happened to independent black media like a Vicki Dillard or a Tariq Nasheed or the Final Call newspaper for that matter or any other uh, independent uh, black media because uh, we talk about what needs to happen in the black community around education. We have panel discussions. We hear people on the radio talking about the condition of the young people, what needs to be done. We need somebody in the schools that's going to work with them and do this, this, and this. And you have a leader in the school that has a track record of working with uh, our young people right here in the city of Chicago that has uh, transformed various schools over the years and uh, a small group of white teachers who disagreed with the choice of the black LSC in a black neighborhood at a black school, this small group of white teachers has uh, united with the law department to get a black educator removed from a majority black school serving black students. So it's important for our people to understand the same fight that we fought in Mississippi under desegregation. It was never about black children going to school with white children. That was not the fight. The fight in Mississippi and all of those uh, states for desegregation was that the uh, white minority controlled the schools that had a black majority. They controlled the finances in schools that had a black majority. So rather than give black people control in the districts where they the, were the majority, they desegregated schools and allowed a few black children to go to white schools, but the white minority kept the resources, hoarded the resources to themselves. That same fight of a white minority controlling a black majority is the same fight that we're fighting right now. We have a small minority of white teachers that do not live in the black community but want to dictate what happens in our community and who can lead schools in our community. And they united with the law department to make that happen. And this is why black media needs to unite around this because it's not just happening to me. I'm not the only principal that was removed. There were six other principals in Chicago that were removed. I'm sure this may be happening in other cities. And if we remain silent, then we'll be living in an apartheid state where you have a white minority controlling a black and brown majority.